What's up guys, so in today's video we're gonna be Let them talk This gon' be the last time I guess this Cause quite frankly I'm getting pissed off Wanna be the bad guy on my hit list Cause his shit don't get no talk So he wants to put my name in his mouth Boy you better sit down Man it's mad that he's performing for an empty house But I sold it out My mama always told me that jealousy rears its face In the face of adversity Then verses would come my way But just ignore it, keep it sore And leave them sore in the face They ain't important, you're worth more than their entire estate So just sit back and laugh at they ass Keep on stacking that cash Let them talk if it'll get them off What they speak just means that they mad They just want what you got son But refuse to do what you did to top them So the only option that they gonna rock with Is to keep on talking while you keep on walking So let them talk for a minute but I'm back and got some If you're gonna keep on talking behind my back Then I'll just do great things in your face If you're gonna focus on my career Then it appears you're the one to play That you're gonna be in my shadow asshole Staring at my backbone and asshole You know it's a fact Working on the go-kart guys So I already took a couple things off So I'm gonna start stripping this down I'm gonna get the, this uh, roll cage off Or I'll get down to the frame Or I'll get this ready for paint So I'm gonna get y'all set up on time guys I'm gonna go get my music pumping And um Let's get moving. some paint stripper on this because that's what we got and it's citrus smell yeah it's definitely citrus smell with a little bit of bleach you know they got the kind you can paint on the jail and it may be stronger but hey i just and after this removes it we can spray that rust stuff and help get rid of some of the surface rust so that way the paint job isn't bubbling within a couple months to a year yeah, i gotta get some more of that rust spray for my rims Yeah. Leave it on for 30 minutes to 24 hours. Yeah, we gotta get another wire wheel, but it's not a hundred percent, but it's pretty damn good. We're gonna fix up that stuff with the stuff under this and all. It's not gonna worry too much. It's not a hundred percent, but it's pretty damn good compared to what our previous. Compared to what we had, um, at the end of the day, like I said, 
the paint Pro on job, paint sh is shitty. That's the paint that's job that we do relies solely on the foundation. And if it was funky looking to begin with, sanding it ain't gonna help. Unless it's we're just gonna take it right down to the bare metal. Now we if we were using Rust-Oleum all day we would have sanded it and uh, smoothed it out. It's a little thicker of a paint. You might can get away with it. Oh, Rush Oleum was a weight. I can still see the pits still on that. On the thing, but hey, man, at the end of the day, we know we're not buying this brand again. I wouldn't. I wouldn't sell something I wouldn't want to buy. I don't want to buy no shit. Well, actually, take it back. I buy shit all the time. <laughs> but uh, we don't want no more brow on. We want Rust Oleum. We're working on a little bit of tunes here. With yeah, I've already shown that we were putting radio up. up. Got one on the other side. Ooh. Trying to give Junior something to do, but he's not getting with the program. Junior, you're Junior. <sighs> so fast forward then to whenever we get to that deal, which we're fighting. This come out okay. Weather, yeah, Dad, they've seen that. But see, I didn't want this. It's a steering wheel, though. I'm okay with it. We're fighting weather, as always. Yeah, you're going to weather, naturally. We got this uh, seat up hey. underneath here. Yep, yep, Dad, I'm not touching that mess. I'll fast forward. So you'll put that in the bag put some gloves in. what's up everybody it's the old man here at Ithwit telling y'all a good morning here I come out here and attach these seats cushions to this frame after letting it dry all night what y'all think y'all think that's the right colors think it pops uh this is getting better back here. Still needs several more coats though. Or scraping or resanding. Who knows? Still hadn't decided. 100%. I picked up some 3 quarter inch steel, some screws to attach this seat to. I think I'm going to go back with 1 inch. I went with three quarter because the plywood's three quarter, but there's a pretty good little gap up in there so that screw's not getting in the wood as, as well as I would like. So I'll go back with some one inch screws. Make sure I get a hold of that cushion. I wanted to bite it pretty good. Come out pretty good, you know. Uh, I like this. I dig these two colors together. Nice and contrast. Seats real, real good and soft here. It's gonna hold the rider in. That's gonna do good for some back support. Even like this one's got an adjuster on it. Slide the seat forward and back. It's not done by boat. Yeah, so. I just want to show you all this. Uh, we'll holler at you later. Peace, guys. What's up with it, everybody? I'm out here in this evening time, late night. It's cool. Doing a little tinkering out here on this go-kart. Looking at this. I uh, think I got a little game plan. I'm going to get my scraper, and I'm going to scrape on this right here, this stuff here. Uh-huh. I'm going to scrape on it. I'm going to try to get it, get this stuff freed up best we can. And then we're going to put the sander on it and sand this out. So... All right, y'all see what she's looking like now. I'll get back with you in just a few minutes. 
All right, everyone. So I've done some scraping, gotten in here and like that. That's pretty smooth. But we're gonna take it smoother. I've got my little palm sander here, and I'm fixing to get it out. And here we go. We're fixing to run this this sander over it now. I'm going. Really get in here and just sand away at this. See what we can't come up with. Let me get it, uh, let me get it plugged in, set up, see if we can't do something with it. Well, I'm sure it's going to be a little noisy, guys, but let's, let's see if we can't get this a little smoother. See what I see? Let's get that scraper out. See if we can't break that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, let's go for it, guys. Get up in there real I'll take that versus that. What do y'all think? I think we're getting there. Let's come on over here to this other side. Let's do a little sanding over here. And then we'll blow this off and see what we can't come up with. I already tell I'm going to have to hand sand right there. Uh, oh, well. I'm gonna have to get the sandpaper let me knock this out real quick guys and I'll bring y'all back all right I'm back guys sorry for that delay it's probably instant for y'all but uh, made some pretty good progress still got some more to go we can see this line here after I kind of sprayed it with some brake clean to get the dust off some more paint started coming up so I might be on to something there. Peel that paint up. We can kind of tell from the factory it was black with some kind of blue sticker on it. But, hey, that's okay. One thing's for sure is, is I don't feel any lines right here. I don't feel them. I don't feel any lines, guys. Um... 
tell you, y'all can see one though. And I tell you, I don't feel it. Right there. Right there. I know y'all can see that ridge. I'm telling you, I don't feel it. However, we're not done cleaning and sanding. Y'all see I got some issues right here after that brake clean. Right there. So we're just getting started on it. That's probably going to be all for today though. Getting kind of dark. Well, it is dark. Relatively beautiful outside. Got a pretty strong breeze going on. And a chance of thunderstorms coming in. And uh, I'm just a scotch from the house there. I don't really want to get caught out here in this tin building and the bottom falling out. But yeah, today I put that seat up on there. I hung my cabinet over there. And biggest, biggest task I did today is I kind of been cleaning. Just getting trash from all up over here in this old side. I still got a ton of cleaning and sorting to do, as y'all can see. But you know what? A little bit at a time. A little bit at a time, guys. Back to this. Back to this. Um, maybe tomorrow, next couple of days, I get out here and we'll do a little bit more sanding. Uh-huh. The... One of these rims here is going to give me the blue sanding it. I think it's this one. Yeah, that one right there. That thing there is going to, going to give me the blues, but we're going to sand it down. I'm going to paint these rims black. That one too, probably going to be a little harsh, but we're going to paint these rims black. FedEx is still tripping. They don't even know where my package is. Here it is Saturday. My exhaust header's supposed to have already been here. Wednesday's when it should have came in. Almost ticks you off that you pay $10, $12 for a two-day shipping and it hadn't even come in yet. Guys, y'all have a good one. I'm about to call it a night. Go in the house and retire for the evening y'all take it easy one more look at that we're gonna we're gonna do our best to not make the same mistake we did on the seat so we're gonna show it a lot of love a lot of uh a lot of sanding y'all see i got some sanding to do here some sanding to do we're gonna sand on it probably hit it with the 180 grit come back with maybe a 300 grit see that right there we gotta we're gonna try to clean it up guys we're gonna try to make it good i know i done expressed a, a dislike for this paint over here right there i'm really liking that brand but we're going to do everything we possibly can for this brand right here to see if it'll go. See if it'll go. One more thing we're going to put on here when we're done. They're not sponsoring us, but I do get a lot of go-kart parts from them. Big shout out to Go Power Sports. Um, they got really good quality parts for for if you want to modify your go-kart and do things like that with it again not sponsored by them i just like this company and their products that's all so with that guys we're gonna call it a night peace
pops been up in here getting these rims ready to paint we did air one up and it went kapoop poo on us and exploded so yeah two-piece rims we hate them because <coughs> we forgot they were two-piece and we went to take it off when it was fully aired up and it exploded instead of airing it down then taking it off and then airing it back up and be able to do it with it aired up so he's getting those rims down painted so that way we can get this go-kart up out of here it's taking up storage in the shop and that's not cool what's up everybody this is the old man here at this whip we're uh gonna be kind of a short video okay not a short video today's gonna be kind of a short little deal today's objective is we're working on this bad boy right here Y'all can see we got the new tires mounted on the rims. They're two-piece rims, so that was a bear. You know, the shop was like, dude, we almost turned you down for this because they couldn't get the old tires off either. It took them two days, but the mo guys never gave up, and they took care of it. So major shout-out to my tire company here in town, Herman Power. They're the best in the business, I'm telling you. But listen, uh, today's objective is pretty simple. Today I'm going to clean these rims. We're going to clean them, you know, degrease them. And I've already scaled them down with the, with the brush on the grinder. Got the loose stuff took care of. So we're going to degrease them, kind of rinse them off, let them dry. And then hit them with some black paint. When that's done, we're going to mount them on the go-kart. And as y'all can tell, the cart's pretty dirty. You know, so I got to... Well, y'all y'all see. So we got to do a little wiping down on the cart. Uh, get all this dust and stuff. So that's today's video. That's the progress for today. I'm going to go ahead and hit the pause button. And we'll let Junior take it from there. Whenever he gets out here. On a side note. Just look at how freaking pretty it is out here. Man, that's gorgeous. Just got love in East Texas sky. Alright guys, we'll holler at you later. We guys, y'all ain't gonna believe it. We sold the go-kart. Yes. Um, so I'm finishing the go-kart video without the go-kart here. Very awkward. I will cut back once I'm in the shop and um tell y'all what went down. Alright, so yeah, we sold the go-kart. As y'all see, there's no more go-kart here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill y'all in on everything that's happened. Off camera, me and my dad fought the door and tires and stuff. We're gonna go ahead and tell y'all two-piece rims. If you ever get a go-kart bike, we don't care, whatever it is, and it has two-piece rims, it is in your best interest to so go on ahead and just, it's going to cost you a little more money, but go on ahead and buy some new rims, buy one piece. Two-piece rims, not a very good idea. Yeah, so we had about $350 into it. We sold it for about $460, so that's $110 profit. That's actually not bad, guys, but um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I got tons of film there. I got about an hour and 10 minutes worth of film for this go-kart video, so please... Um, I'm sorry if it's a longer video, but uh, you know, I'm sorry if it took a while to get to y'all. It's just whew, about three months in the process of filming this video. So um, thank y'all for watching. If you like what you've seen, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Remember, go check out the merch. We got some awesome shirts and stuff at the link in the description below. If you want a hat, PM us, PM us on Instagram or Facebook, and we'll get you set up for the hats. Um, remember, we have memberships available through Patreon. We got about four different levels. Prices going from like a dollar or two dollars a month all the way up to 50 bucks a month whichever you choose and if you don't want to do none of that but you do want to support us any bit uh, more than just clicking that like button and hitting that subscribe button and commenting that's what we really appreciate the most you also can donate to the channel all the info you need for all that's going to be in the description below we'll see you on the next one peace my life i'm gonna wake up and i'll take what's mine ain't no way i'll wait in line life is moving way too fast for me to be stuck back in time